Linktree is the most popular LinkedIn bio app by far. It gives you a central place to send your audience to connect with you. But does that mean it's the best option on the market? And is it even necessary in the first place? Here are five things you need to know before using Linktree. The first thing to know before using Linktree is that it can get expensive fast. While there is a free plan with unlimited links, most of the style customization features are restricted to the $5 a month starter plan. And even worse, the most powerful interactive features like email collection and phone number collection are restricted to the $9 a month pro plan. Now, I'm a firm believer that you should pay for software you use and enjoy because if you're not paying with your money, you're usually paying with your data. So I don't have any problem with Linktree charging for more features, but I do think their plans are a bit expensive for what you get. For example, Card is a simple drag and drop website builder that gives you access to opt-in forms and custom domains for $19 a year. The builder is not as simple or convenient as Linktree, but you're saving over $70 a year if you use card instead. But something that's always free is the subscribe button. You can hit subscribe and click the bell to make sure you never miss a new video. The second thing to know before using Linktree is that a link in bio service may not even be necessary. If your primary goal is to add multiple links to your Instagram bio, you can do that right now inside of Instagram. You can go to edit profile and you'll see an option for links and this allows you to add additional links to your profile. However, the Instagram UI that shows when users have multiple links in their bio is extremely bland, and there's no way to show a thumbnail or visual as to what each link is. It's just a white dropdown with a bunch of text. So I wouldn't be surprised if Instagram's native multi-link feature has a lower conversion rate than Linktree or other link in bio options. That is to say, people may be less incentivized to actually click the links you place there. And when those links are to critical things like products you're selling, you may be missing out on potential potential revenue. You can avoid using a link in bio app with Instagram specifically, but you can still only have one link in your bio on TikTok and X. For most use cases, I think link in bio apps are still worth using. If you have a post referencing a specific link, it's a lot easier for a user to go to the link in bio page and see a visual related to that post, a thumbnail, a logo, something that reminds them, oh, this is the link that that post was referring to. And that brings me to the third thing you need to know before using Linktree. Linktree can't do a timeline style interface where you mirror your posts and associate a link with each post. You may have seen some users do this with their link in bio, but they're using a different tool like linkin.bio by later. I think this timeline style interface can start to get busy, but there are some scenarios in which it makes sense. Like if you have a unique link for every post that you make. Linktree is still highly customizable. You just can't accomplish the post mirroring that some users are looking for. By the way, if you're wondering which link in bio app is right for you, you can connect with me and others in the Krayler community in my Discord server. I'll have it linked below if you're interested in joining. The fourth thing you need to know before using Linktree is that Linktree could change features and pricing at any time. Now, this is true of any software platform. Any hosted website builder like Wix, Squarespace, or Card could do the same thing. But this is especially important to understand with Linktree since it's your main hub to get people in the door. For example, if you're using Linktree to accept tips or sell digital goods, they've offered a 0% transaction fee for a long time, but they've also said that this 0% transaction fee is available for a limited time. As of now, you just have to pay the transaction fees from PayPal or Square, and Linktree is not taking an additional transaction fee on top of that. However, Linktree is making it clear that they intend to impose their own transaction fee at some point. So if you're building out your Linkin bio page and monetizing it with transactions, they could increase the fees at any time. If you don't want any chance of your link in bio app raising prices, adding fees, or removing features in the future, you may want to consider an in-house solution like SocialWP instead. SocialWP is a WordPress plugin that gives you an easy, approachable builder for your link in bio page that's very familiar if you're coming from Linktree. They offer a lifetime license if you want to avoid subscription fees, and by using WordPress and self-hosting your website, you're taking full control of your website and ensuring you won't face an unexpected price hike down the road. I've been using Social WP for my LinkedIn bio page since Koji was shut down. I loved Koji. I recommended it heavily in my content, and I was invested in the features and mission. When Koji was acquired by Linktree and shut down, I realized that I didn't want to invest the time and energy to learn another LinkedIn bio app again, only for it to potentially be shut down in a few years. I even made business cards with a QR code to my Koji page, and as a result of Koji shutting down, I had to print 
new business cards. So I feel a lot better knowing that I'm in full control of my LinkedIn bio page now and it's hosted on my own web hosting account. The fifth thing to know before using Linktree is that it is one of the most customizable options on the market. I've given Linktree a lot of shade in this video, but I have to admit there are some nice features in Linktree. They have no shortage of styles to pick from and customization options for fonts and buttons. Now, if you're trying to deeply customize the exact layout of the page down to each pixel, Linktree isn't for you. But then again, any Lincoln Bio app isn't for you. You'd be better off using Wix or WordPress to build a Lincoln Bio page from scratch and have full customizability over everything. But if you want the customizability of a Linkit bio app with an easy dashboard, the ability to schedule links to appear at a certain time, and rich styling options, Linktree is one of the best options on the market. Previously, Koji was my favorite, but since it's no longer available, Linktree has a similar level of customizability, albeit for a much higher price. Before Koji came along, I used to use Solo.2, but Solo is charging $15 a month to capture emails, and to be be honest, there aren't that many options for customizability. It's gotten stale in recent years while Linktree has continued to innovate and add features. So who is Linktree for? Well, if you want a powerful, customizable Linkin bio page and you're okay with upgrading to the starter or pro plan, Linktree is a decent option. It's expensive, yes, but it gets the job done and it works well. So I want to give credit where credit is due and say that it is a good option if you're willing to pay the price. If you just need a free Linkin bio page that is highly customizable, I would check out feed.link. The free version allows you to customize everything down to button styling, fonts, and layouts. It is a bit overwhelming if you don't need that much customizability though, so Linktree's free plan is also a good option if you just need a basic Linkin bio page with an admin dashboard that's easy to use. And if you want to take full control over your Linkin bio page, and not rely on these apps and services at all, I would recommend the Social WP plugin for WordPress. You can avoid subscription fees with a lifetime license, and your Lincoln bio page will be hosted on your website that you control. The Social WP editor is also pretty easy to use. It makes the process of adding new links simple and removes the friction you would face if you tried to build a Lincoln bio page from scratch with the Blocks editor or Elementor. Once you set up your Lincoln bio page, you may also want to secure a custom domain name for your website and email address. I've got a full video comparing the best place to buy a domain name that you can check out here.